I am at World Champion Center here in spring, and I'm with someone who needs absolutely no introduction. Simone Biles, how the heck are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay, I'm doing great, <laughs> I'm doing great, but you are someone who has been so busy. I mean, we're Houston Life, we're with KPRC, NBC mm -hmm. affiliate, we were in Paris. Yes. We know 2024, is an Olympic busy year for you. So I just want to yes. say thank you for giving us a little time oh, today. Of course, thank you guys. So about the Olympics, mm -hmm. now that you've got a little bit of time to mm -hmm. digest it, come up for air, in hindsight, what yeah. are your thoughts? No, I'm super excited, proud of my performances. I feel like we did, we went over there and did the job that we were expected to do. So I can't be mad at whatever happened. Um, just really exciting. It was so fun to watch you not just obviously on all yeah. on the beam on the vault on the yeah. floor everything the team um, but on social media too yeah. <laughs> was Thank like you. i was living yeah. for everyone's tiktoks all of team mm -hmm. usa yes um how important or how cool was it to have your support system there with yeah. you this time most definitely i think support and family means the world to me so to have them in that arena it just gave me this sense of comfort that i didn't have before at the last olympics so to just go out there and have that support can see them in the audience audience was like, okay, ready to do this, excited, let's go. Yeah, so you go out there and you throw these these crazy tricks and I mm -hmm. was telling our photog, I was telling even um, our coworkers, yeah. like the media here is probably more nervous yeah. than, you, than you are. You're so yeah. good, you're on episode one, the mm -hmm. season of Hard Knocks. Yes. Your Netflix sports docuseries mm -hmm. is like the number one, like most yes. thumbs up yeah. liked thing on this, <laughs> on the platform, yes. that's huge. And then you go through the tricks and then you give all of these interviews. Have you ever considered like co-hosting, hosting your yeah. own show? Do you no. think about something like that? No, I, I actually have before and I think it would be amazing to have athletes on it. But you know, we have to get through all of this first to think about the future because I'm trying to live in the now and soak up this moment and the accomplishments. But definitely in the future, I think that'd be something cool. Like she's going to co-host Houston Life is what <laughs> I heard. But anyway, but anyway, okay, let's talk about the now. Let's talk about the tour, yes. the Gold Over America tour, yes. which is like GOAT if you're listening, yes. if you're looking at the acronym. acronym. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so talk, it's going to be like a party. Yeah. Yes, definitely a party, a celebration um, following the Olympics. We have so many world-class athletes, Olympians coming to put on this show. And what it is, is basically an exhibition of what we've done at the Olympics. And then we're gonna tell a storyline. Um, and so it'll just be fun, party, good gymnastics, good vibes. And we hope really everyone enjoys the show. Yeah, I know they will. I know this, yes. town, this city, I mean, I feel like you're beloved, especially coming, you know, back from that right now. Yes. So I always think to myself, I mean, this is your home. You mm -hmm. could go anywhere and set up shop yeah. and you would be so well received. Yes. Why Houston? Why Houston? They've supported me and they've um, done so much for me throughout my whole entire career. So to just be here, give back to the community, inspire the younger generations is super exciting to me. Yeah, it's, I mean, and you're doing it. You're paving Thank the you. way. So how do you stay so grounded and relatable? Because I feel like we're yeah. all, like we all feel like everything you do mm -hmm. turns into a GIF or oh, a meme. Yeah. And then, so we're like, we're just like Simone, but yeah, yes. she, but like she can do other stuff like yeah. on the mat. How do you no, stay so grounded absolutely. and relatable? I think I stay grounded because of my family. They've always thought of me as just Simone and just my community and the people that I surround myself with. So I think that's always helped, but also, I'm just like anybody else. I'm very gifted at something specific that I do, but other than that, I'm just like anybody else. Just you, Simone from Spring. Totally, you're just like a, a Spring hometown yeah. girl, yes. for sure. Um, I wanted to talk about your Netflix docu-series mm -hmm. because my friends are all obsessed Aww. with it. You say people put you on pedestals and you're just begging to be human. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard not to look at you and be like, oh, there she yeah. is, the go. You know, how, what, what, should we know about you that is going to help people mm -hmm. do that more? Well, I think, again, like I said, we are just really gifted at something God-given talent. And other than that, we're normal. And I think we try to be as normal as possible. There's a lot of criticism that comes with it that we don't necessarily mm -hmm. ask for. I just started gymnastics at six years old, became really good at it. And that's all I asked for. I just wanted to go to college and maybe get a college scholarship. It went way beyond that. And I'm very grateful for the opportunities and to represent the United States. But other than that, it's just like, 
Just girl from spring that loved gymnastics. And, and so just like what you see is what you get and yes. like telling it how it is. Yes. We appreciate that. We of love course. the authenticity. Thank um, you. So thank you so much. And one really quickly as well, just opening up the conversation, not only did you make winning mm -hmm. and bringing honor to the United States of America, yeah. like you did all that, but you also you. opened up this super important conversation For about sure. taking care of ourselves mm -hmm. and our mental health. Yes. Are you still like, you're obviously still an advocate for that, but why is why is that so important? Because you have to be in tune with your mind and body because it's very connected. And if you're in tune with your mind, then everything else follows. And I know how important that is. And even this morning, I was in therapy again. So it's Shout just part out. of my daily routine. I know it keeps me grounded. It keeps me um, in tune with myself. So that's why I do it. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. Shout out therapy. Yes. Always. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay. Well, since you're like going to be a star and have your own show, why don't we let Simone take us to break? Um, all you just do is say like, oh, okay. uh, Houston Life will be right back. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Houston Life will be right back after this commercial break. Perfect. <laughs>